Democratic presidential candidate Mike Bloomberg threw his hat into the 2020 race in November 2019, bringing back the spotlight to his personal background and family life. The 12th richest man on the planet is spending big to appeal to the largest swath of voters he can. Mmm, big gay ice cream is the best. But what do we know about Bloomberg's relationship history? The ex-New York City mayor, who co-founded the financial information and media company Bloomberg in 1981, was married once before and is currently dating the former New York State Superintendent of Banks, Diana Taylor. The two were first linked together in 2000, just seven years after Bloomberg called it quits with his first wife, Susan Brown. Although the billionaire and Taylor aren't married, they live together and their relationship appears to be rock solid. Speaking of strong relationships, Bloomberg has been fortunate enough to maintain a longtime friendship with Brown, with whom he shares two adult daughters, Georgina and Emma. Shortly after Michael Bloomberg and Susan Brown tied the knot in 1976, their marriage took on a big strain as the billionaire worked to establish himself as a businessman. According to a profile of Bloomberg in the New York Times, as a married man in the 1980s, Mr. Bloomberg would quarrel with his wife, Susan Brown, about his long stretches away from home, both building his business and enjoying the after-hours social life it afforded him. He would go home in the evenings, spend an hour or two with his two daughters, and then typically leave for dinner. The couple's eldest daughter, Emma, echoed this sentiment in a quote for the publication. She stated, They were not getting along because their lives are not compatible. My mother doesn't want to be social all of the time. She was perfectly happy to curl up with a book and not go out all week. After going on like this for years, the two officially called it quits in 1993. It seems like this was the best decision given their opposite personalities, especially when you learn how their kids reacted to the split. Despite their differences, Michael Bloomberg and Susan Brown managed to stay pals after their divorce. Brown even moved back in with her ex for a year or so after their split, proving their friendship isn't about keeping up appearances. Emma Bloomberg spoke about this sweet friendship with the New York Times, revealing how it influenced her life for the better. She explained, My parents' divorce was one of the best things that ever happened to me. It made my relationship with both of my parents stronger. My parents are best friends. Nobody understands that until they actually see it. The New York Times profile also pointed out how Emma wrote about her parents' ability to make it work in her college admission essays. When Brown left Bloomberg's home, he reportedly helped her buy an $8.2 million New York City apartment in 2011 with a loan of $500,000. In addition to his willingness to help out his ex financially, the businessman continues to spend many holidays with his first wife. As the saying goes, all's well that ends well. Sometimes it can be awkward for a new love interest to integrate themselves into a family unit, all the way from respecting personal boundaries to finding the appropriate rhythm with stepkids. However, this seemingly hasn't been an issue for Diana Taylor and Susan Brown. For her part, Taylor has gone on record as respecting Brown as a mom to her stepchildren. She shared her thoughts in a January 2011 interview with Harper's Bazaar. When asked about how she feels to be a stepmom, she pivoted by sharing that Bloomberg's offspring don't really feel like children to her, but rather her friends. According to her, quote, they already have a mother. Taylor never had kids of her own. Instead, she appears to have other priorities and appreciates the fact that she's gotten to avoid a lot of parenting responsibilities. She explained to The Observer, I never had to run home and help anybody with their homework. That was a whole very time-consuming aspect I didn't have to worry about. She also added, You have to do what you're comfortable with and what makes you happy, and that's not the same for everybody. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon! Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one!